I was about six or seven years old when I got my scar. I was in the playground and a boy pushed me and I ran after him, chasing him, trying to push him back and ended up tripping and falling over and cracking my head open and that's how I got my scar. <laughs> I don't really, um, I don't really try to hide them anymore. I guess I don't really feel like there's something to be ashamed of. Um, Comes from around my pec, up to the top of my shoulder. I reached up and yanked the handle, boiling water everywhere. I don't notice it too much anymore. For years, there was quite a ridge there because it is one line for three operations. I suppose to me, my scars represent my cystic fibrosis because. There, the rest of me you can't tell. People don't tell when they look at you that you're unwell. But the minute that they see a scar, they go, "How do you have? Why do you have that? Where did it come from?" My first operation in that area was an ectopic pregnancy. I had a heart operation. Then in June 1991, I was taken for a cesarean. I suppose. Well, I suppose it's kind of obvious. I took a knife. The third one saved my life. And I was really scared of the day I'd have to tell a boy about my scars. I'd been diagnosed with pre-cancerous cells in the cervix and I had complete hysterectomy in the same place. It used to represent how, how kind of weird I was. <laughs> By taking all this internal pain and difficulties that were going on and being able to put it in a context and externalise it and then be able to deal with it. It's made me fairly confident in the fact that bodies look different and it's made me much stronger, you know, I think, just having that there and just being like, yeah, well, whatever. It makes me feel lucky to be alive. And sometimes I'm really proud of them. They're proof of what I've been through. And sometimes I'm like, yeah, I did that. That was rubbish, but I made it through somehow and here I am. It's as much a part of me as my nose or my feet or, you know, it's... Kind of normal. It's probably the period of my life that has shaped me more than any other. I don't want to forget that. I, that's a huge part of me and I think it's important to remember, they're a reminder of what I've learned from it. Everyone obviously has these kind of small imperfections that kind of define them in a way and this is mine. I don't think there's ever been a time where I've not been proud of my scar. It's my little story. And I'm definitely happier in my skin.